back from vacation. So What's nice happening? to have you back. How are I, you? All the liquid nitrogen people in town are so glad that you're back because when you're <laughs> on vacation. Doesn't everybody have it? So you just float. go to your pantry, <laughs> get the liquid nitrogen, whatever. Look at that. Whenever yeah. Steve walks in with this. You, you, it's a fine. It's, we you, know that no, he's been. Fine. Here, put your glasses on. I'll show you what. It's oh. Geek Week, and we'll talk about it. But yes. Lots of warm water here, and here's the liquid nitrogen. This is 320 degrees below zero, but you can hold it with your bare hand I, oh, because it's ooh. insulated with the uh, styrofoam. Ooh, Isn't that really amazing? Frosty. When you really think about how uh, amazing styrofoam is, keeps the hot in, keeps the cold in, right? It's just this great insulator. That is remarkable. Here, watch what happens. Let's pour a little bit inside here. Okay. So if, uh, if this goes into the beaker like this, here we go. Oh, we just, oh, that, that just oh. beautiful. <laughs> so, it's, so why wouldn't you have Geek Week with playing with this? Wouldn't you? It's just, oh, that is it's remarkable. so beautiful, By the way, isn't it? Every geek on Geek Week has a giant beaker. Stay right there. Like don't Steve. move. Don't oh, move. Whatever you. You. Oh, oh, okay. This oh. is it. Oh, that's your new shot. Don't you Ooh. like that? I think you just you very look cooling. Where are you, Mark? That's very it's, cooling. Is that great? I like. You know, I'm always hot, as Kim knows, and Adele. You know, I'm always complaining about why. You know, because I'm yes. hot and they're freezing. Of course. Understand. So this very nice. Is that fun? <laughs> so what's different? Excuse the reach. It gets to sit over there. Okay. What's uh, What's fun for Geek Week is the fact that uh, it's truly this. YouTube is celebrating this idea of uh, geeky science is fun, and they're calling it now Geek Chic. Geek Chic. Oh, just to make those better. of us who are geeky yeah, uh, understand Kim, that we are geeky. Kim, Kim, so got a good laugh Kim, out of that. Funny? Got a big chuckle. Yeah, it's geek, geek Chic. chic. <laughs> so that's. Do, do you want some geek stuff? Geek I, I, you know. Oh, by the way, this is the first time. They, I mean, they've never done. This is the first time. Correct. And, and you're live on YouTube. We're gonna go live. So if you go to YouTube and search for Steve Spangler, it's youtubecom Steve Spangler Science. You'll actually see it 2 p.m. tomorrow and at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Oh, We're going live. Okay. And that'll be kind of fun. Geek so, Chic. It's Geek Chic. You know what I'm okay. thinking about? Is this goes over here so we don't ruin the rest of this? Yeah. I have, I, you know how we normally oh. do something that's huge, yeah. why not do something that's micro scale? This Isn't is amazing. Fun? So hold right. out your hand and the camera's going to look right at okay. your hand right, right here. Okay. I want to show you what we have here. We have a, a very strong magnet, so this is a neodymium magnet. That little, little guy, guy right here. is a neodymium magnet okay. and it's so tiny that I it have to like kind of use the... It looks like it's gold. Yeah, it, but it's just, it's neodymium, it's kind of gold plated. Okay. This is a superconductor. Okay. So you can see that these two are not magnetic. They don't no. stick to one another nope. until you super cool the disc. Oh really? Got it? So okay. now now, if you just hold those off to the side, I'll show okay. you what we have over here. Here's the setup. So here is our um, styrofoam container here on the very oh, top. Okay. And I put the little disc that's right here. Got okay. it? Okay. And uh, now let's put some of the liquid nitrogen in here like Wait, this. Super cool. How, so, how super cool do we get to what? 320 degrees below zero. Oh my gosh. Nice. Oh, and because gosh. I'm going to get close, I'm going to throw my, my uh, safety glasses on. Okay. And now watch what happens. If we can get the disc cold enough, yeah. it starts to become, um, it'll repel just like a regular magnet. So it will, it will so essentially flow. Yeah, so watch this. So the magnet sits above here like this, and it's just lucky if it happens on the first time. Oh, there Get it is. out. Isn't look that at that. Beautiful? It's actually suspended it's above suspended the disc. Suspended right that above is, there. Look at that. There it that is. is crazy. Isn't you know, that, the camera sees that really well. Look at your monitor beautiful? over there. How oh, good is that's that? That's gorgeous. Oh watch my this. This is like magic. So the magician takes the. There are no wires of any kind. No wires of any kind. Isn't that pretty? No special accommodation here whatsoever. That's crazy. Absolutely amazing. And it'll happen in in a bigger way as well. So if we take a look, I have I have some videotape of a, of a scientist in Israel, and this is the superconductor, but take a look at this. It's on a disc that travels around that literally oh, is just oh, floating in sick. air. Oh Tell me that's God. not gorgeous. That is amazing. And it spins. So they're talking about this for transportation. The real hard part, of course, is to keep those cold temperatures. Right. But when we talk about superconductors, that's totally geeky. And uh, isn't that fun? That's, geek uh, chic. That's what it, it's geek chic. It's geek and that's chic. what it looks like. And we're doing well here. With, uh, with our little conductor as well. You know, I would think that heat would be a, a, a bigger factor for, for that kind of transportation to, to making things move, but in fact, it's just the opposite. It's, it's the opposite. Cold. Yeah. What we're trying to do is to realign those atoms just so that it becomes look paramagnetic. Look at that. Is that and crazy? Is that oh, look at it spin. Oh, for heaven's sake. There it is. There's that is a spin. Well, how, how long will it stay cold enough to make that happen? It's going to cool down, or it's going to warm up fairly quickly here. So while this demonstration is great, over the next two or three minutes or so, you'll find that it'll stop floating and just kind of no set off to the that side. No kidding, quickly. So, mm. but you can see we even got better uh, levitation than we had before. And that's, if you ever wondered what geeks do, this is it. This is the magic <laughs> geek of geekery chic. right so here. So to run the Steve Spangler Geek Chic Tram, yes. we need a lot of nitrogen. You're going to need a lot of liquid and so nitrogen. The, 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 and the uh, liquid nitrogen are, people, yeah, very happy. Very so I asked happy. Steve, so can you like just walk into the store and say, I'd 
like some liquid nitrogen. <laughs> and in fact, that's what he does. Yeah, yeah. That happens. It's just a different kind of store. That's yeah. how that works. Well, you say it's, there's a lot of medical uses for it, like you, freezing off warts, warts and all that and, business, uh, There's right? tons of different uses for yeah. it. But this is what we're doing tomorrow, and I'm so excited and uh, excited that YouTube is embracing geekdom. Okay, 2 o'clock kind of and 5 o'clock. Yeah. You know what? Jim Marnowski sitting in the control room. Maybe we could, can we, are, are we violating some license if we ch take a little clip of that to show you no, live on no, YouTube? No, you can sneak in. Absolutely. Okay, okay Absolutely. so Jim, let's, we're, we're going to do that. We'll see if, uh, what YouTube says about it because, you know, they have a lot of lawyers. Yeah, the, uh, they're going to be fine. Uh, they're friends now, so <laughs> you're, we're going to have fun, all right? We'll freeze them and put yes. them on the geek chic tram exactly and send right. them off into you're oblivion. Done. All right. Well, that's remarkable. That is a remarkable thing. Steve Spangler.